Okay, my friends, so today we're out at the Sharon Gun Club, and for your shooting pleasure, we're going to be shooting a Winchester Model 70. This is a, a famous gun, famous company. I have a bipod on it, as you can see. I have a, a 24 power uh, scope on it and uh, we carry a few extra rounds on the stock here but uh, it's calibered in uh, 6.5 by 55 Swede and uh, it's a, a bullet that looks like that okay uh, it was used by the Swedish Army at the beginning of the century and uh, this is 139 grain and uh, it's a very long bullet, so it folds back and becomes very wide as it goes in. But anyhow, this is the round that we'll be shooting today. And this is the gun. And we've set up our targets down here at, um, at 220 yards. Uh, we have two spots here at Sharon, you know, 220 yards and 330 yards. So this is at 220, and we're going to take a few shots now and have a little bit of fun with the 6.5 by 55 Swede. <laughs> Swede? Do you think he's a Viking? We'll find out. Okay now. So I have this rifle sighted in for 100 yards so this is at 220 so we're going to uh, have to do a little adjusting or a little hold over here. Anyhow let's take a, a crack at it and and see how we're going to do. Okay, so the first shot is on his head at 220 yards. And uh, instead of using the crosshair, I'm going down to where the crosshair splits and gets wider, and I'm just putting that wider part on him, and uh, let's see if that works again. Okay, so we've got uh, two right on his chin. So that's about how hard it is to shoot a sniper rifle at 220 yards. Uh, it's so much easier than shooting a bow, and uh, but it's you know good fun, good skill, and I enjoy it doing it. You know, uh, being out here in the winter and and just enjoying myself. So uh, that's how it goes. Now, let's see if we can put three on his head. Uh, about a, an inch higher, but uh, it's about an inch higher, but in the same spot. So that's about it. Anyhow, uh, I'll think of something else to say. I'll be back in a minute. Well, guys, here we are. You know, I often talk about killing being Viking. In all honesty, I'm dead against killing. I don't kill anything. I'm actually a very peaceful person. Even though I know these martial arts, I don't want people going out and hurting each other. It's not. War is a horror. It kills billions. Billions, but even in the First World War there, it killed millions. You know, you're one person. You're very important as being one individual, one person. Can you imagine losing your life? What a horror that would be. Well, can you imagine that happening 
eight, nine, ten, twenty million times. All those lives, all those stories. It's uh, it's a real bad thing. So it's okay to have skill. skill and have the will, but in all honesty, war is not cool and you're just being used by politicians to further their own ends, really. And uh, it ends up screwing a lot of guys up. You go down to the United States with all the wars that they've been having in the last few years, look at all the guys that are, are uh, physically disabled and mentally disabled. right in the same spot. You know, a trained sniper, trained soldier, can wipe out a, a lot of people this easy. So it's better when it's kept as a sport. Right there. Martial arts are great. Karate, boxing. Oh, and by the way, Dante, uh, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are having a heavyweight boxing match. It should be a great fight, talking about fighting. So, you know, fighting's okay, but it's better when it's a sport, because otherwise it can be deadly. The thing that most guys fight over is women. That's what we really fight over. When we go for territory, it's because we want the women. It's all about getting women. That's why we'll kill each other. We want to procreate. So that's why we do it. But um, uh, again, shooting is a great sport. It's a terrible thing when we have governments wanting to confiscate your, your property and your, your gun rights and treat you like a, a, a person who's a, a danger to the public. You can see what I can do. But I am no danger to the public whatsoever. I'm actually a very peaceful person who's against war. It's just that I have these skills. So anyhow, I would suggest that uh, uh, we keep the peace and have good times and treat each other fairly. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Okay now, my friends, so enough of that. I'm going to go and do some other stuff, but I did want to show you the Winchester 70 featherweight. That means it has the lighter barrel. And uh, I enjoyed shooting that. I uh, took five shots. I went down and got the target. Now, you see, this is the target. And so we took five shots. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So at 220 yards, a rifle like this can be shot very accurately. And it can be used as a martial art. Now, listen. Peace is better than war. Peace is better than war. War is a terrible thing. This is not what you want to be doing. This is a horror. Okay? So shooting is great fun. But I want to emphasize that peace is better than war. And that I'd like you to have fun with your guns and that destroy your lives. Anyhow, that's all I had to say for today. So you guys go have some fun. Take care. I'll talk to you later.